how are you? Welcome to your reading. This reading is good for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, just so you know, I'm going to start with a little introduction around some of the astrology we're dealing with right now. If that does not interest you, you can jump ahead to either the Oracle or the Tarot, which is timestamped in the description box and also shows up as chapters on the play bar. Um, but for those who want the intro, the astrology for the month of September, we are in Virgo season, is kind of quiet. Um, that's nice because we had a bumpy summer early summer especially, and so it's sort of taking the time in Virgo season to regroup, to get our head on straight, to reorganize, um, and it's all about processes, right? Internal and external processes, getting very linear about things, getting all our ducks in a row. So that's a general overarching theme. It is also a time of self-care, getting back on your nutrition plans, getting back in touch with your, um, you know, <laughs> your, 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 counting your, your steps and um, watching your sleep and um, hydrating, you know, all the things we kind of let go in the summer because we're too busy having fun and we get plenty of exercise if we've been able to get outdoors much, but September's like getting it all back into a plan and a system. Okay, so that's the first thing. We did, we did have um, the new moon in Virgo on the 6th. On the same day, Mercury began the shadow pre-shadow phase. So all that means is um, still moving forward and in the sign of Libra, the, the weeks from the 6th of September to the 27th of September is the material that Mercury is tracing over that when he stations retrograde, he will go back over again. And then when he turns direct, he's going to go over it a third time. Libra rules the self, the seventh house of relationships. So the, the energy um, of the Mercury retrograde this time will be about our relationships. And of course, with Mercury, it's about communication in relationships and partnerships of all kinds. So be paying attention to what's happening between the 6th and the 27th, because that's all the stuff that's going to come up again. Um, for you to process in the retrograde and rethink and revisit and reevaluate and review. And then um, once again, when he stations direct in October. So it's like um, a full mental overhaul of our relationship consciousness is what you can expect for the next month and a half. Okay. And then we also have the full moon in Pisces on the 20th, and that's going to be a great full moon. So that's your intro. And now we're going to move to Oracle. Okay, so we've got the Oracle. I intuitively selected three decks. I shuffled, I drew your cards. We're starting with Soul Coaching Oracle and you got the Sanctuary card, which is I am divinely guided, gently and lovingly. And that Sanctuary card to me often feels a little bit like a combo of Four of Swords and the Hermit, right? Just kind of pulling back and hunkering down and taking some time to go within Hear the voice of your own soul is what this card is sort of inviting you to do to take time for reflection. And there's another note to this card that's about if you're going to take action, proceed with caution, right? Be sure you've really done the inner work and that you kind of have, have your, your focus. This is a good Virgo season card, actually. Um, the next card was from Gateway. All these decks were Denise Lynn. That was just a fluke I just randomly grabbed. Um... Looking deeper, deep within me is a majestic radiance. And notice the jewel there. And it says things aren't always as they seem on the surface. So you got to look deeper. You got to take a deeper dive, time, take time to reflect again. So there's almost a little bit of a similar energy between these two cards. Take a second look, uncover the hidden gems within. Um, so while you're in this sanctuary energy, you're looking for the hidden gems of a situation uh, especially if it involves relationships, right? Um, which is what we're looking at here. And the last card is from her Sacred Traveler deck and you got the Traveling Lightly card, right? Simplify your life. Sometimes this makes me feel like the Fool card, right? The Fool's just walking with a little knapsack on his back, traveling very lightly, prepared for the next adventure, doesn't want anything weighing him down, okay? So there's a little bit of that. It's telling you to release what doesn't serve or support you here, Libra. Um, this will include people, things, situations that have been holding you down, holding you back, weighing you down. So keep what works, let go of the rest. Travel lightly, my friends. So you're getting kind of a, um, a message that says, um, I'm feeling like a little bit of taking the time to go deep 
and to shut out all the noise and release what's holding you down so you can see things clearly. Um, that's what I feel the message is. Okay, so that was the Oracle. Let's take a peek at your tarot. What is coming through for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? In case you missed all the announcements I made in August, I am now doing readings from the perspective of Divine Feminine Energy as a response to the vast majority of those of you who are subscribed and who watch the videos, the readings, who are Divine Feminine. So, majority rules. If you are interested, if this, if this um, reading speaks to you, if it resonates, if it's your storyline, the extended will be from the perspective of the Divine Masculine. So you can always go there to get more juicy information. I'll tell you more about that in a bit. Okay, here we go, Libra. It's all about relationships. It's all about the partnerships. Two of Cups. The card that's crossing this is the death card. So I'm, I'm going to say this is uh, coming through as a support. Sometimes it can be a challenge and it can be a support. I'm going to go 50-50 here. The death card is um, telling you that there's some form of transformation underway that may be here to support you, but may also make things a little bit more difficult to move through. Um, with the death card, some things have to fall off so that something new can be born into this connection. So, um, yeah, the death card, Scorpio energy, just FYI. And it can be heavy because you're processing stuff. So this is almost a perfect card for Vir Virgo season as well. But just please note the sun is cracking back there on the horizon. Um, a new day is dawning. And so if it feels a little difficult right now, it will be much different later on when the transformation is complete. Underneath, Seven of Swords. So what's below you here is something that is sort of run, running around in your subconscious energy and your psyche. And there may be some, some avoidance here or perhaps something that you don't feel safe around or that you don't feel you can trust in the past. Seven of Wands, two sevens in a row. The Seven of Wands might be some resistance and defensiveness in the past or standing up for yourself even, especially if there was something that went on that was pretty shady. Um, that may be the case for some of you, but I love where you're headed right now. What's crowning you here is the lover's card, Gemini coming in. That's about, that's a card of choice, right? Once this transformation takes place and you sort of resolve it in the depths of your psyche, remember sanctuary and, and looking deeper, that's what you're looking around is this seven of swords energy. You've stood up for yourself or you've, you know, had some, good boundaries perhaps around this in the past, and now you get to make a decision and a choice. The lover's card, you may be choosing your next step forward in this connection, or with regard to the connection, or you'll be walking away. There you go. Traveling lightly, um, simplify your life, walk away from what no longer serves you. I don't necessarily feel it. it's a walking away from the connection, can be for some of you, but for others of you, it's, it's part of the transformation process, which is to say, no drama mommy here, right? I, I do not need the drama. So to me, sometimes the Eight of Cups is, one, turning your back on, on drama of the past, and then two, going in search of the Two of Cups. Because two and eight makes 10, we got the rainbow. So I do feel like there's something here with regard to moving towards your happiness, going toward emotional fulfillment and, com and something more complete in this connection or in a whole new direction. And that will be a choice you're making and that's your strength now. Spirit is giving you a king of wands, talking to you about the energy of someone who sees what they want and claims it. Could be your divine counterpart. This is the energy surrounding you that you are unaware of. You may be unaware of somebody coming toward you with an offer of love, hope, sand, or fears. There, Libra, endings and new beginnings. I feel like you're closing out a cycle here. And, and at the same time, the connection is being transformed, or at the very least, you are being totally transformed by it. And there is your potential outcome. Is the justice card. It is your card, Libra resetting the scales of balance bringing the harmony back in a lot of integration the justice card is a card of integration truth right the truth comes in we integrate everything we've learned as we've been learning lessons this is aquarius and capricorn ruled by saturn as above so below we're learning and 
And once we get those hard lessons learned, and that's kind of why I'm feeling like the death card can make this last little push a bit a bit challenging but it's for your higher good and on some level you know that or you're hoping for it at least um, someone coming toward you from for, with love here and an open heart that's really important and possibly with strong passion and determination as well if this king of wands is the knight of cups same person energy woo, love and passion so that's what i'm seeing here for you let's take a look I'm going to look at the Two of Cups with the Death card. We have Scorpio, just so you know. Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, that's your card, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Okay, I said it. I know, do you see how badly sunburnt I got? Oh my gosh. Judgment, so more Scorpio. Energy, Six of Swords. Yes, I feel like this is transformation um will take you it's bringing in wish fulfillment that's part of what you're after here i'm gonna i'm gonna hold all this up so give me a second it's really looking nice because the judgment card over here is second chances forgiveness and there's the six of swords smack in the middle moving to calmer waters getting that peace of mind putting the drama and the turbulence behind you and that would be a wish fulfilled. Let me get my right finger going here. So that's the transformation that's taking place in this connection, Libra. Looks nice. It's happening. It's happening. Powerful Scorpio energy in this opening salvo here. So uh, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, that's some powerful confirmation for you. Um, what did I want to say about Scorpio? There was something going on. Oh, my gosh. I think... Um, We've got, we've got Venus and Scorpio right now. Yeah. So if I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Venus and Scorpio is decidedly different energy um, than Venus in its loving planet of Lib Libra, right? Where it's happiest. Um, so yeah, lots of deep emotions. Looking deeper, sanctuary, lighten your load, travel lightly because this may be more intense than ordinary everyday life so i am feeling like that scorpio energy is what's coming through with the planet of love seven of swords with the strength card there's the eight of cups and the five yes all right this is good so if there was deception or betrayal if there was someone that was avoiding you here libra on some level, you know it's just their own self-sabotage. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. I'm just feeling like there's something here. I don't think it's you. I think it's someone else's energy because here you are with the Strength card, the Leo energy of the Strength card, gathering up your courage and your confidence to overcome the obstacles and walking away from the drama as I described here. So the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords feel like, you know, somebody who's, who's working a game. And the only one they're fooling is themselves. Uh, it is not you. I think you're aware of it and you're trying to find a way to overcome it. There may be some, you know, avoidance on your part here that you may be working through. So there could be a little touch of that. But because I got the five of swords underneath, I'm feeling like there's, you know, somebody who likes to work a system. It's feeling a little shell game, three card Monty to me. And you're aware of it, so that's good. And that's likely what's changing. That's likely what the transform, that's likely what's got to go is that energy of being with someone that, um, you know, uh, I, I've been using this example a lot, so you've probably heard me say it before, pees on your leg and tells you it's raining. I mean, that's the simplest explanation of part of the energy of the Five of Swords. But in combo with the Seven of Swords, there's a little bit more intentional shadiness around it. And I feel like you're coming to the end of that because you're gathering up your courage to say, yeah, no more. Either that stops and changes or I'm gone. Um, right, that's, that's it. And yes, because the Seven of Wands in the past, and I'm looking here, the, like getting up the nerve, right? Getting up the nerve, um, strengthening your spine and sucking in at the solar plexus and preparing for a shift. 
Yep. Wow. Seven of Swords with the Seven of Wands with the Ten of Swords with the Three of Swords. Yeah. I think you stood up for yourself here in the past, Libra. Um, could be that your person was also maybe defensive. And so it can go either way. If they were not defensive, or maybe they were defensive because you took a stand for yourself. I'm just feeling like you spoke up and it kind of fell, fell right apart. Boom, painful ending, lots of heartache here. And underneath is the Page of Swords. And I feel it's almost like because it's underneath your, it's like, what the hell was that? What just happened here? I need more information. <laughs> Somebody give me information. Page of Swords underneath suggests that you may have been trying, and this is in the past, trying to figure out what the heck happened or why this person behaved the way they did. And underneath in your psyche, you're working through the potential that they just weren't on a level with you. Lovers is crowning you right now. Beautiful. Empress Divine Feminine, there you are with the Hermit. Yes. Look deeper. Sanctuary, traveling lightly here. And Justice. Libra, my goodness. Four major arcana here crowning you. You've got a lot of power. All the energy here from the top, it's crowning you. It's, it's representing your strength what will give you the strength to bring about your desired outcome. I'm showing you a potential outcome, but you probably, each and every one of you, have your own ideas of what you're trying to manifest. So A, part of the manifestation power you've got is in your ability to make choices, good choices, um, about this connection, but always coming from unconditional love and from your wisdom. That hermit uh, energy, the Virgo energy coming in the mix here is basically letting you know you've done a lot of inner work. You have more self-awareness now. You're coming from high vibration love. You deserve the balance restored and the harmony and, this, and, the, and the sense of um, fairness, right? Fairness and balance. So I do feel like what's crowning you here will bring about this desired outcome, part of which is the balance and the harmony and the integration of everything you've learned. Let me say that again um, on your journey, which has which is feeling a little solitary. So if you have to retreat as you're making this choice, Libra, that's okay. Do it from your highest vibration of love possible and do it. I mean, this is such powerful energy. Do it with the wisdom you have gained um, on your journey. So in other words, if you're working this difficult energy through in your psyche the seven of swords the five of swords do i stay do i go how do i overcome this drama um if you're doing that in your psyche and maybe in your sleep state when you come to it consciously go back to maybe a little while ago what you learned along the journey after this painful ending or whatever it was that kind of you know threw ten swords at your back it's, it's, it's something, there's something that's already been learned is what I'm trying to say. Don't act from present energy, act from what you brought from the past to the present. I always get there eventually. Eight of cups in the future. You're going to have to be true to yourself. Um, yeah, you you're going to have all the tools that you need at your disposal to bring about whatever is best for you. So that Taurian energy of the Hierophant coming in to remind you that you have to do, go in the direction of your soul. And that was one of the cards here. I feel looking deeper. Um, the go within to hear the voice of your soul is sanctuary here. So yeah, close out all the noise and move in the direction of your soul and your higher self. Um, who you know to be at your core. You've got all the tools at your disposal, all the elements supporting you in the magician to do that. And I like that the seven of pentacles comes out underneath because on some level, I think you'll know that it will all unfold in a natural timing, right? The, there's the wheel, which is divine timing. The seven of pentacles is sort of organic things. Plant the seeds. You're manifesting something, plant the seeds, plant them deep, and it will evolve and unfold over time. 
organically. So there's not going to be any sense of push or pressure to make this final choice. You're going to just be true to yourself and stay on your path. Okay, we've got the King of Wands here as a message to you from Spirit of the Universe. Well, Hell's Bells, Libra, King of Wands, Four of Wands. <laughs> yeah, communication may be coming in from this person. Um, this is your true love. This is the twin, King of Wands. The object of your desire. Um, I feel like you're being given a message that they have. They are coming to a realization that it's time to ring you up, give you a call, reach out, communicate. Um, I do feel like this communication. Now, this could be somebody brand new for some of you. For some of you, if you make the choice to walk away, spirit may be telling you your true love is being put on your path. And you'll know that you'll know it when they speak their first words. There is a thought about that because of the Ace of Cups. We do have um, double meanings for a lot of the you know, double, triple, quadruple. But I'm feeling like this Ace of Cups is either referencing your true love, your twin that you are already aware of, or a potential new person coming on your path. And you'll know them the minute they speak. Knight of Cups. Energy surrounding you that you are unaware of. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Libra, this person, um, this is a person, and I feel it's your divine counterpart that you've had this very stressful cycle with. Um, they're ready to kind of offload all the negative karma, come toward you with their heart wide open and their heart on their sleeve, as they say. Six of Pentacles, operating from an energy of reciprocity, equal give and take, um, knowing that it's time for them to be a little bit more generous with their time, energy, resources, spirit. Um, a true partnership in that Six of Pentacles with give and take, coming and going and temperance underneath they're really trying to exercise some self-control in the temperance card and they see the wisdom in waiting and also on some level because it's underneath it's like a, a nod to alchemy like there will be little things i'm gonna do that will just shift the energy um they're waiting for everything to kind of come into flow and balance energetically speaking but that's underneath it's not part of their conscious awareness it's just part of their overall plan is to give it the time that it needs for things to kind of settle and come into flow but then they they are hoping to come towards you and offload a, a heavy burden something weighing on them very heavily hello seven of swords five of swords hello ten of swords three of swords right in your hopes and or fears we have the world card Ooh, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. Right, so relationships take work, and I love that the Eight of Pentacles comes in underneath, suggesting that on some level, you will be open and ready to work on this connection or look for creative solutions to a problem because I think you're hoping for an apology, right? You love this person. Uh, we have the world card with the queen of cups. We have the page of cups with the eight of pentacles underneath. It leaves me believing that you are hoping that a new cycle begins with an apology from the heart or a message of love that is sincere and authentic. And then on some level, you know, but it's going to take work, right? We are not putting a bandaid on a gaping wound here. That apology is step one. So I do feel you're hoping that this person is um, coming in with a message of love and apology as well as ready to work on fixing the problems. And justice, right? We're coming right to the potential outcome. My goodness. Ha! Yeah, right? You want fairness and balance restored? 
and yet you're not sure that that's going to come off. You're doubting it. Eight of Swords, the moon with that Seven of Swords underneath again. So there's definitely something here, Libra, that ran afoul, that wasn't on the level. Um, I think there's some feelings here of betrayal or a perception, at least. I'm thinking perception, Eight of Swords, of betrayal or somebody who really did you wrong for their own self serving purposes and i feel like this is the potential outcome you may not trust it you just may not trust it um and you know that's okay the eight of swords is sort of letting you know that there's a potential that you may have lots of doubts about it and about your perception of the situation because you may have felt you were betrayed or fooled or you know um, sabotage set up last time and so even though justice comes in and there's this balance being offered and everything you've learned you're trying to integrate there's parts of you that are like yeah can i am i really that together now do i do what do i have a strong enough handle on this that i'm seeing it correctly because i thought i saw it correctly last time and i did not so i'm feeling like the, the the balance will come in the fairness will be restored but you may not trust it at first makes sense if this is resonating for you, dear Libra, the link to the extended is below. I will be speaking from the perspective of your divine counterpart. The sign doesn't matter because this is still your reading. That's the back half of it. Um, and I'm going to pull a card for how they're showing up in the reading. Like what's their present energy? What are they dealing with? How are they seeing the situation? How are they thinking about it? How do they feel about you? And how do they feel about the situation? And what are their intentions towards you and this connection going forward? I will also pull a card from spirit to help you organize your next best steps from that information, as well as closing out with some additional Oracle. So just as deep a dive on that end as we did here. Hope to see you there, Libra. Otherwise, take care. I think we also have some Pisces here and some Sagittarian energy that came out toward the end. Um, so that's who came to play and lots of Scorpio energy, your own energy, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, all of it. Good stuff. Links below. I'll see you there. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you in a future reading. Bye for now, Libra.